As the PlayStation 4 era reaches a close, I present to you a celebration of the best of the generation, the top 10 greatest PlayStation 4 games of all time. This is my personal list prioritizing the finest PlayStation exclusives the PS4 has to offer, at least in my view. There is no list that is exactly objective, and this is just my list, so if a game you like is missing or you disagree with my placement, that's fine. I can only rank games that I've played and I've tried to include mainly just PlayStation 4 exclusives, with two exceptions for titles that were multi-platform but were from series that were historically Sony flagships. Some entries could arguably be shuffled around, but this is my critique as well as a ranking based on my experience and a way to circulate praise on some of the incredible artistic achievements in gaming. Starting at number 10. Last of Us 2. Number 10 on this list is The Last of Us Part 2. Naughty Dog's morality play experiment that flustered fans and confounded the critics. With a rather uneven story, one that carries great emotional weight while also including moments that come across as thuds, and a blend of smart stealth albeit stupid enemies, and tense, brutal third-person combat, it inevitably makes it onto our list of the best generational exclusives. It asks questions that we don't want to answer, gives us stores that we don't want to go through, and, as expected from the distinguished developer, boasts some of the best modern graphical design and presentation, but ultimately it lacks the spirit of an Uncharted game. Number 9. Ghost of Tsushima, one of the most visually pleasing games ever made, this is what every open world game had been working toward this console era. Tsushima packs a simple samurai tale into a lavish landscape drawn from some of the most hypnotic historical highlights, and details it with perhaps the most adorned and ebbing environments seen in a game, and activities that are as playful as they are prepossessing. The canvas is conspicuous, the game is stealthy, but more than just eye candy, there is no trade-off of graphics for gameplay play with some of the best sword slashing combat of, of the period. Tsushima isn't free from error, but it does provide what, at the most basic level a good game should, a level of immersion that is chilling and relaxing to stimulate the senses. It can be as free flowing as the wind. Number 8 Death Stranding. Kojima's passion project was an unsurprising success, even considering the fast turnaround for him after his departure from Konami. What it isn't a departure from, however, is the master's trademark sophisticated stealth mechanics and tactical gameplay, rich cinematic storytelling, and emotional even if sometimes not so logic-driven narratives. Like the previous entry in our list, the game was polarizing for critics and fans, with many people deriding the game and Kojima himself as aloof and self-indulgent, and some surmising that in his first solo endeavor as a wholly independent creator, Yaltur had finally lost his way with this new IP. It's been called a walking simulator, a UPS delivery game, and much harsher things. Kojima himself referred to it as a new type of video game, a social strand system. I think it was sometimes frustrating, but ultimately a calming breath of fresh air. Compared to another entry in our list by the man himself, it might seem forgettable, but with Death Stranding continuing the trend of complex stories, heroic characters, and pioneering combat featuring some of the best motion capture animation and performances of the decade, I have no doubt this game will be influential in the future. Number 7, Devil May Cry 5. The long, long-awaited sequel to one of the best games and franchises in video game history, Devil May Cry 5 delivered some of the greatest combat ever introduced into the virtual world. Incredibly stylish, over-the-top, and personalized, the mechanics in this game are as complex, varied, and in-depth as they are accessible. You can cut down demons with chainsaw motorcycles, ride on rockets to dish out payloads, and smoke out hell with your dual boomsticks. When every battle challenges your knowledge and creativity as a player and every move you make feels tailor-made while fully encouraging the freedom of expression, where can you go wrong? The game loses some of its luster with some uninspired and recycled set pieces and boss fights and a rehashed storyline that simply doesn't do the previous entry's traditions enough justice. 
Add in some questionable characterization of beloved characters and extra cheesy one-liners, the game really eschews the balance between serious and playful tone that had been established by the all-time greats Devil May Cry 3 and Devil May Cry 4. Still, there's that gameplay and the unmistakable nuance of being able to kick some demon ass as two of the coolest action heroes to ever grace 3D gaming. The fifth main entry and perhaps the greatest series of all time is another expressionist masterpiece. Not bad for an ellipse. Number 6. Metal Gear Solid 5, one of the greatest of stealth games. Metal Gear Solid 5 does the series proud by bringing the legend back to life, this time in a seamless open world adventure. Metal Gear Solid 5 allows you to explore the intricate origins of some of the series' most fascinating and pivotal players, including some terrifyingly devious new ones. The stealth is as sharp as ever, none more so than in the subtlety of the emotional journey featuring an unlikely, unrequited romance and an unforgettable sacrifice. In a time where war is changing and alliances are forged that will shape the future of the canon. As always, this entry is structured like poetry with a sensational build-up to a revelation of a final act that rivals any other conclusion to a game this decade. With long-held rumors of an unfinished state and Kojima's vision not being fully fledged aside, Metal Gear Solid V nonetheless stands tall as one of the best prequels of all time, one of the greatest action stealth games of all time, and as a staple of the generation in gaming, another gem from Kojima. Number 5. Uncharted 4 A Thief's End The harrowing and heartfelt goodbye to one of the most enduring and endearing and, needless to say, epic franchises that gaming has ever known. One of the most beautiful and inspired worlds ever designed, Uncharted 4 is the nearly perfect setting for Drake's last exploit. The combat is as loose and satisfying as it's ever been, with quite literally more room to move and a greater emphasis on styles of approach, while still retaining its challenging, frenetic pacing. You still get to feel like an absurd killing machine, whether stealthily or guns blazing. The set pieces are the most vibrant and refined the series, the characters, the most vulnerable and human, with a tone of redemption and realization that succeeds in connecting us to the subjects without being overly sentimental. With an introspective and meaningful plot told in chapters and through skirmishes across impeccably designed settings and developed in part by a number of shocking and sublime moments, the story reaches its natural conclusion, one that all of the characters deserve. Though perhaps not as dark or as deep as Amy Hennig originally intended, the remaining Rangers and Naughty Dog, like the hero Nathan Drake himself, made good on their promise from all those years ago. They owed us a story, and they sure gave us one to remember. Number 4. God of War 2018 my choice for Game of the Year 2018, God of War just barely managed to edge out the number 4 spot over the beloved franchise entry Uncharted 4 because of its bold and daring choice to completely reimagine the series from the ground up. In addition to revamping and overhauling its famous brand of bloody combat with in-depth RPG mechanics, this game introduced us to one of the most imaginative and beguiling world designs ever. The powerful and poignant story hits high note after high note in one continuous cinematic camera take that is simultaneously an extremely bold yet entirely welcoming and practical narrative choice and also a revolutionary idea for the game's industry. It isn't easy to manage to fuse some new originality into an old genre, but God of War succeeded with this on a magnificent scale. If the inevitable sequel for the PlayStation 5 is anything like the sleeper hit from 2018, another thrilling adventure awaits us from Santa Monica. Number 3. Bloodborne. One of the most original and imaginative games of all time, perhaps no other game has cast a longer shadow over the generation than 2015's Bloodborne. It boasts a world design both tremendous in size and terrifying in scope. Bloodborne hosts one of the best aesthetics and atmospheres of all time in a game as we go back in time to traverse a haunted and hallucinatory hellscape festered with foul monsters in a grimly gothic setting as an undead underling as a squad wobble in this Donnybrook against gargantuan ghouls that will make your hairs stand up 
and split your hairs in frustration. Games like these, though demanding, never feel laborious. Overcoming the odds in a game this taxing has seldom felt this gratifying as you see prey spotted on the screen after laying a boss to rest. You get out what you put in, and the difficulty is rewarding as it is relentless. All action RPGs, including another masterpiece on this list, owe a lot to the mechanics, but also to the aesthetic design, mood, and tone set against the beguiling backdrop of this vexing, visionary, Victorian-era roleplay. A watershed moment from the genre, Bloodborne is as poignant as it is petrifying, as convenient as it is challenging, a high mark for PlayStation and the industry, arguably one of the two greatest action RPGs of all time and I think it can be interchangeable with number two on this list. Extremely testing, but passable if you appreciate the adroitness of it all. If the setting is like a Lovecraftian poet's nightmare, Bloodborne, like the world you inhabit, is like a dream. Number two. Neo 2. Neo 2 is a sequel truly better than the original in every meaningful way. This superb samurai slasher fuses historical drama into a rich tapestry of violence and virtuosity and, above all, video game excellence. Colorful characters and breathtaking architecture set the stage for some of the finest gameplay ever experienced. The incredible splendor is in the combat that boasts more range of motion and personalization than any other action RPG to date, with nearly endless opportunities to improve your technique and transform your playstyle. Growingly difficult but fair, this game will test your patience and wit, but it's sure to always perquisite so them in the end. All the lessons learned from a game like Bloodborne led to this marvel of design and dedication. Of craft and creativity, substance and storytelling, Neo 2 is the model for what all great games should be. It exceeded all expectations, and then... And then some. Oh, come on. Oh, that was pretty quick, man. That was quicker. <laughs> I'm gonna say that as a clip, dude. I'll end this right now. Number one can be no other than Persona 5 Royal. One of the most cinematic and stylish experiences in gaming history, this anime action adventure will make you feel alive again. A shining and spirited example of what the single player experience can be, the eclectic taste of this kaleidoscopic escapade embodies everything great about art. Music, mood, tone, and above all, personality. Watching the ensemble cast of diverse and virtuous characters develop and their grand narrative unfold is a delight. It is sweeping, and like the music at the heart of its teenage thriller, it never skips a beat. The mechanics are challenging at first, and like the trickster, even deceptively simple at times. Though there is nothing deceptive about its brilliant, charming, and utterly disarming evocative experience, one of the most wondrous ever seen or felt in the realm of video games. This is no plain plot but a straightforward story, one with labyrinthine characters and conflicts that seem all too relatable. There aren't many video games that will leave you feeling transformed and wide-eyed, but this is one of them. From the start of the show to the end, Persona 5 Royal is unpredictable and unforgettable. An affirmation of Japanese culture and an acknowledgement of their ubiquitous influence gracing the world over, this game is at the pinnacle of the modern industry's achievements. It could be too soon, but it already feels timeless. This game will remain alongside the best games of all time as nothing short of legendary. Persona 5 Royal gives video games hope for the future and perfectly personifies and exemplifies why video games are the art form of the century. 10 out of 10, a true gem, an instant classic, and one of the best arguments for owning a PlayStation 4. That's the list. Let me know how you feel about the titles praised from Sony's fourth generation. The rankings and what games you would put on your list in the comments below. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing for more coverage of this art form called gaming.